Hey folks, Stephen Tyson here. So right now, I'm going to show you how to play the song Blackbird by the Beatles. But before we begin, please click that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell. Okay, so let's zoom in and start. Okay, so let's focus first on the left hand. Then after that, I'll show you the pattern of the right hand. So first thing is the intro. First chord is G. Put your middle finger on the 6th string, 3rd fret, together with the open 2nd string. Next is A minor. Put your index finger on the 2nd string, 1st fret, together with the open 5th string. Next is G bass B. Put your index finger on the 5th string, 2nd fret, together with your ring finger on the 2nd string, 3rd fret. Then you're going to slide it up to the 10th fret. And you're together with your fing ring, ring finger on the 12th fret of the 2nd string. Next is the verse. So on the verse, you're, we're going to do the same as the intro. Next is C. Put your index finger on the 5th string, 3rd fret, together with your ring finger on the 2nd string, 5th fret. Next, A7 bass, bass C sharp. Index finger on the 5th string, 4th fret, and your pinky on the 2nd string, 8th fret. Next is D. Put your index finger on the 5th string, 5th fret, and your ring finger on the 2nd string, 7th fret. Next is B7, bass D sharp. Your index finger on the 5th string, 6th uh, fret, together with your pinky on the 2nd string, 10th fret. So let's do a recap. Next is E minor. Your index finger on the 5th string, 7th uh, fret. And together with your ring finger on the 2nd string, 8th fret. Then, move your index finger 1 fret down. So the chord is E flat. So let's do a recap again. is D then back to A7 bass C sharp then back to C C minor In the C minor uh, you will just move your ring finger one fret down Then G bass B A7 A7 put your index finger on the second second string second fret together with the open fifth string then D7 put your index finger on the second string first fret together with the open third string ah fourth string then last chord of the first is G so let's do a recap again
after the verse uh, before the second verse there's a fill in uh, we're going to repeat the chord of C C minor G bass B A7 D7 G after that we will repeat the verse then after the second verse next is the chorus the chords is F your index finger on the fifth string 8th fret together with your ring finger on the second string 10th fret next is E minor next is D minor so from E minor, you will just move to fret down. Next is C. Next is B flat. So again, you will just move two frets down. Then back to C. So let's recap the first part of the chorus. Second part of the chorus is F, E minor, D minor, C, B flat, A7, D7, and G. After that, wait for the blackbird's whistle. Then you're going to do this. Then repeat the first verse. Repeat it from the C twice. That's one. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to teach you the pattern of the right hand. The pattern is you're going to use your number 1 and 2 finger together with your thumb. So for G, you're going to play first the 6th string together with the 2nd string. Then, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string again, 2nd string, 4th string, third string then if you're playing the other chord like a minor a minor or c or d or E minor, the pattern for the right hand is 5th uh, string together with the 2nd string, next is 4th string, 3rd string, 5th string, 2nd string, 4th string, 3rd string.
that's it so let me remind you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so if you have any questions just put it in the comment section and uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can or if you have any other song request just comment it down below okay that's all folks